Okay, big weekend just in general anyway, and one of the reasons it's going to be a wave weekend out of the coastline. More obey our 805 web cams. Want to thank our friends over there looking pretty nice just a little bit earlier. So let's glance at Avila Beach live right now from 805 webcam 64 du point right now is 47 humidity 55%. The winds are rather light out at Avila Beach. This is the Quest of Peak camera courtesy of PG and E and you can see pretty quiet. The dusk colors beginning to settle into the area in Santa Barbara. The community college camera there just pointing at some of the waves. You can see guys out there in the water and your cameras on my Facebook fan page. Kathy Wallace, thanks for posting. That is an amazing shot there. Horse on the beach, why not? And MC Chavez out in Cayuca today, we had a control burn, but uh, look at that shot, just incredible there with the colors of the smoke and the sunshine there in the background. High Surf Advisory continues into early next week, 12 to 16 footers, max sets to 18, and could see those grow on Sunday into Monday to 20 foot maximums. And for the South Coast, we have four to seven feet as well with that extended high surf advisory. Some high clouds trying to roll into the area. Some low clouds may develop late for the coastline. A little frontal boundary passing by, cranking up the winds here over the next few hours. Coastal valleys, the winds start turning around as early as tomorrow. And temperatures near 70 degrees. The interior valleys, some morning low clouds. Clearing those to sunny skies with low 60s in the offing for us on the south coast. Again, today nearly 80. The wind will be a little different tomorrow, so daytime highs should be a little shy of what we saw today in the west facing beaches. Again, some early cloud cover possible, but working our way toward 70 degrees. We do have a wind advisory in place starting at 6 o'clock tonight through 3 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. North winds 20 to 30, gusting to 50 miles per hour, highest in the Santianez Mountains. And that's being shown in our modeling here. You can see over Santa Barbara and up in the higher elevations. Yeah, the winds are up into the middle of the overnight. Now tomorrow afternoon, it's just locally breezy pass and canyon winds and out by the point here as well. All things to kind of keep in mind across Santa Barbara County. If you're traveling, we are in a moderate drought and this forecast isn't going to help. Here's why that frontal boundary goes by us. High pressure builds in the winds start turning offshore night and morning offshore winds almost all next week. In fact, by late next week, I think some temperatures in the 80s and mid 80s are not impossible. Huge ridge of high pressure. So daytime highs for Saturday, 72 Santa Barbara, 62 Paso Robles, 67 Santa Maria, 64 in Lompoc. Partly cloudy skies after again a few clouds in the interior valleys and some high clouds over the area as well. Some early low clouds at the coast can't be ruled out. But again, these numbers, what month is it? If you didn't see that those interior valleys were quite cool, I would say this would be easy to trick some people, especially considering that 80s are possible in the deep extended forecast. Now, Thursday and Friday next week, I'm going a little shy of 80 degrees across Santa Barbara County. San Luis Obispo could edge in on 80 as well. So really interesting forecast. We'll have more for you tonight at 6. Richard.